This project is very interesting because it really works at the intersection of, of technology, sports, and also social impact. Our client is Harvard Broadwin. Harvard is a sports enthusiast and a social entrepreneur. He's been very active in the adaptive sports community and he engaged with the Anderson Strategy Group to figure out a way to increase access to adaptive sports. The initial draw to Brazil was actually this event in Sao Paulo, an international event put on by the International Paralympic Committee, and it's a qualifying event for the 2016 Paralympics. We were able to speak with so many different international stakeholders, head coaches from the Brazilian Paralympic team, the Angolan Paralympic team, and without that, uh, our project just wouldn't be the same. Anderson has a very global network. Uh, Anderson alums have been very successful all over the world to be able to tap that network. That really gave us a, a, a head start in the project. We uh, met with a professor who helped us design our surveys to be the most effective. We utilized students who spoke different languages to help us translate our surveys into those respective languages. And we also leveraged the different departments here, both the CGM and the International Studies Office, to connect with Anderson alumni and business partners both in Brazil and here in LA. Athletes throughout the world are coming up with very innovative ways to overcome these challenges. Shipping costs and distribution costs and things like import taxes make the cost of adaptive equipment significantly more expensive than in the U.S. Athletes in, in Angola are assembling their own wheelchairs so that they can get access to lower cost equipment. Athletes in Brazil are buying equipment in bulk so that they can get those discounts. The dissemination of information across this industry is so limited that uh, even in speaking to the president of the Brazilian Paralympic team, he was very surprised to learn and very excited about uh, you know, what's being done in other countries. So um, I guess really the insight is, is seeing there's so much opportunity by sharing information and, and that's where I think we see ourselves uh, in this big picture making a difference. We ended up speaking with 25 athletes and coaches from eight countries. The issues facing the industry are really um, global in scope, which really helped to drive our project and look on, on how we can impact uh, kind of the most people globally. Being able to go out there and talk to athletes from all over the world and realize that this is a global problem and, and our solution or our recommendations will have a truly global impact, I think that was very fulfilling.